back at the uh, laminated ferro cement foundation and we finished it up and gone on to the next stage which is building the walls but part of the detail that I wanted to show we did a transition detail from the foundation uh, to the connecting edge this is a little bit more than just connecting in the uh, the blocks this is uh, this detail you can see we took a lot of extra care to make sure this cures correctly kind of an important detail because it transfers the load of these surface shells over onto the uh, the plate down below so this is a, a pretty thick solid piece that can't break and it's bonded very well and so that any of the surface plaster when we come down with it it has a nice sturdy shelf to transfer that full load without you know something that can't break and so that's why we took the extra precaution uh, this yellow stuff you see on here is a bentonite and fiber paste we used our, some of our PVA fibers in there just to make it uh, uh, stick and so that we can clean it off pretty easily with a brush once it dries. This is already cured. We've already gone a good week of it being wet. So it's, uh, it's got some good strength in there and it's going to continue to get hard. And uh, so that's, that's the end of that foundation detail. And we're going up with the, bo with the wire box beam frames. We've got a nice sturdy wall. And uh, now we're ready to actually put the roof panels on. We're going to be putting arched roof panels on this on this structure and we're going to be sculpting the arched roof panels into the into the eagle profile over the kitchen and we'll be looking out towards the south so uh, be an unusual house but it'll be beautiful and it'll be functional and uh, less expensive than uh, any other house going and I just uh, wanted to say something about this whole system in general this is a little bit more than just these dry technical issues about ferro cement and new techniques for foundation. Uh, what we're working on is called the Shambhala Village model. We're talking about the Shambhala Eco Village and how it relates to the parabolic stress skin construction process. Uh, and I think the biggest, most connective detail to all those design elements, the uh, rain catchment system and water tank, water dispersion things, the garden plots was another one. Uh, that's going to be part of the village design where we have uh, elevated garden plots that uh, make it easy to protect your uh, small crops from the elements and to be able to keep them warm. And actually the insulated water tank like the one you see back here in the background, it's built on an insulated slab and an insulated foundation as well. Uh, this is a, a water tank but we designed it also to accommodate many possible things as a uh, green tank for fish and also a uh, recreation or mainly just water storage but we get the sun off of it and we've created these kind of things so that we can put in a, a four foot panel whatever in here for so it could uh, either be glass or it could be a condenser to make uh, distilled water uh, but certainly to cut down on the evaporation and all the plumbing units will go through this foam panel that inserts into here and uh, yeah it's probably uh, 26,000 gallons and uh, it's a pretty big tank <laughs> see if I cannot get hurt oh, I didn't get hurt we do have a ladder we can get out of here but this is the water tank uh, it's on two levels and this is the first example of the laminated foundation. We actually built this on an undisturbed earth. We just scraped down a few inches. And uh, yeah, this is it. And we have two openings here so we can create draft. And a uh, nice echo chamber. This is a lot of the structural uh, trees that we made. They probably weren't necessary, but uh, they seem necessary when the cement was wet. And, uh, yeah, this is it. Let's make a nice swimming hole. And I envision, you can imagine, catfish or tilapia swimming around these trees with some little bit of uh, algae. That's what I like to envision for this because I think uh, most of this water is going to be used for watering the garden and it will probably have uh, an average uh, capacity of about 10,000 gallons and uh, will fluctuate probably between 8 and uh, 20 throughout the year. So that's another design aspect, the pizza oven or the outdoor kitchen area, very simplistic design, no refrigerators and things like that, just some countertops and maybe some nice places to sit around a large Orno oven that's elevated off the ground. Uh, and, and so that kind of brings us, that ties that building system into the architecture using the 
naturalistic forms, uh, using an, a building medium that uh, one or two people can do on their own, and that a person, you know, with doesn't have, you know, three hundred thousand dollars to build a house, they might be able to take some of those elements from that model, that Shambhala village model, and use them for themselves. Uh, and I think it's really important to be able to to do that. And then, then the whole village idea, that's, you know, right now it's kind of an abstract model. But, you know, as you can see, we're using some of the design elements. We're using some of the features. This room here, uh, this is an, an outdoor, indoor space, but uh, we're going to have our hot water tanks in here. All of, the, all of the rain catchment gutters will converge at this point and channel the excess water over to the large volume tank. So we actually are doing a lot of these things. And inside of the house, we're doing a large wood-fired oven. So, I mean, that's not the outdoor pizza oven, but, it's, but it shows an example of how we take elements of that design, of that model, that ideal model, and, and change them to accommodate our needs here in the real world. Okay, if you really w would like to get a hold of me or uh, learn more about this building system, you can go to the website for this. It's called shambhalavillage.com, S-H-A-M-B-H-A-L-A-V-I-L-L-A-G-E.com. Or you can email me at Doug Lacey, D-O-U-G-L-A-C-Y-7-7 at Hotmail. And you can learn more about our eco-village project in this system. Uh, this is part of a we're designing a five-house eco-village that's based on water conservation uh, using a, a centralized uh, outdoor pizza oven kitchen and, and also using solar and wind technology to create a sustainable village. Um, thank you very much.